Hello. I just wanted to come on here today to talk about another George Lucas film. Um, I just thought, you know, it'd be a cool thing this week just to do that. Um, we've been talking about Star Wars for a long time, uh, so why not talk about some of his other directorial films? So, you know, obviously the other directorial film that he has made is American Graffiti, which is right here. Now, uh, unlike uh, Star Wars and um, uh, THX 1138, this film is not science fiction at all. There are no sci-fi elements. Good. Uh, it's a comedy. Um, this came because of a dare that uh, Francis Ford Coppola did, or gave upon George Lucas, um, which was because of a failure of THX. He just told George Lucas, essentially, like, you know, you're talented, you're like, let's just stop this. Stop with this science fiction, futuristic BS. Enough of that. What you, you know what you should do? You should make a comedy. Make a comedy, uh, because I know you can't do it. You know, you couldn't make a comedy. And, you know, in that, having him say that to George, well, George retorted, yes, I can. You know, I can do it. So he created a story, he had a couple of writers come on and write variations of the drafts that he wrote. He liked some elements, some he didn't like exactly, but then he reworked it, put some of their ideas that were good, as well as the stuff he liked in his own thing, or his own script. So. And then the script was written, and then you have talent like Richard Dreyfus, Ron Howard, and other people. Harrison Ford is in this film. Uh, you know, he plays a, 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 uh, someone who goes and drag races. With, uh, Paul Lamott character. Um, Candy Clark, Kenzie Phillips, Cindy Williams are also in it in this film, as well as uh, Wolfman Jack is the, uh, as essentially himself as the jock. Um, this film was nominated for uh, five Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Director, and Original Screenplay. It lost all three of those. Well, it lost all five. Another notable Oscar nomination was uh, for uh, Candy Clark for Supporting Actress. Um, but yeah, uh, where I've talked about how, you know, Star Wars essentially should have won Best Pictures, Directors, Screenplay, and all that. Essentially every Oscar it was nominated for. Uh, I kind of feel the same way with this, and it's... And look, I'm biased. I like George Lucas. Uh, I will admit it. However, the film it lost all like those three Oscars, I believe, for. I don't believe uh, Sting was an adapted film, like it wasn't based on a book. Not that I can recall offhand. Um, but yeah, the Sting won Best Picture and Director. But I'm sure it won Screenplay. I think it was original, and. You know, the film lost another big Oscar to that film. Uh, but The Sting is good. Uh, you know, The Sting was good. And The Exorcist was nominated that year as well. Uh, uh, Candy Clark was nominated, and she was really good. Um, so, uh, 
yeah. I guess for that race, I don't remember who won. But it wasn't her, nor was it Linda Blair. But she, yeah. The performances in this film is just outstanding. outstanding. Uh, Richard Dreyfus got a Golden Globe nomination, uh, well-deserved. Would have been nice if he won, but he didn't. Um, Ron Howard was also good. Uh, 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 the behind the scenes on this uh, set, special edition, uh, in the documentary, he was talking, he's saying how he talked to George Lucas and how basically he uh, was wanting to get into directing and all that stuff. Um, and uh, George Lucas, I've always said, is a fine director. He's a really good director. Um, you now, some people you don't think he's all that great. Now, like the first Star Wars was just luck. You know, he really didn't have a whole lot to do with it. I've said before how he, you know, he has a lot of talent and he actually had a lot to do with it. Um, obviously, he didn't have everything to do with it. Um, but yeah, I think this is an example of that. Uh, he did not just get lucky with this film because this film was hugely successful. It was beloved by... Uh, the public, loved by critics, won the Golden Globe for Best Picture for comedy, and you know, it, granted, look, awards don't mean a lot, obviously. obviously. I've, I've said that before, but still, to someone like George Lucas, who nowadays just gets berated and stuff, they say he just got lucky with like this film or whatever. This is another movie where he, it's uh, it's really good. He directed it. He wrote it. He had a end of the executive produced this film as well. Yeah, that's not the same. Francis Ford Coppola produced it. Uh, that's actually the reason he got to make this film in the first place, was because, or at least get financing, because Coppola did The Godfather. You know, with the how THX Thirty Eight happened. Uh, Coppola is it? He said to Coppola, I had to go get a job of, uh, you know. Uh, and doing The Godfather, and that was like a experience that you would wish for no director ever, just how the studio was. But that was a success, and thanks to the power of Coppola, George Lucas got his chance to show he can do more than just science fiction, futuristic stuff. Um... He, uh, he's, he's really, uh, he's very really talented. Um, it's a shame that we didn't get more out of George Lucas. Could have gotten perhaps more films like this. Or films like THX. Uh, but, uh, yeah, American Graffiti, like, takes place over a night. Go to college, essentially, basically, a couple of guys. Uh, some people have been there for the town for a while. Some go off to college. That was like a big dilemma for uh, Richard Reffers, his character. It's like he's set to go to college, but he's having doubts. Like, he doesn't necessarily want to. Ron Howard, you know, he, he wants to go, and he's upset over... His friend, like, uh, we want to get out of this town, we want to do something with our lives, and you're, here you are having second get, having a second thought. And then uh, Andy Williams is Richard Dreyfuss's character's sister and Ron Howard's girlfriend, and you know things start off fine, but then over time, just things kind of go out of. Control since it's like they're like they're gonna be like uh, like well, last night they're gonna see each other for a long time so you know that could be pretty uh, stressful on a relationship you know keeping it long distance and he has the idea of like well you, you can kind of keep seeing other people 
Which is, this isn't going to help. I mean, the situation already of essentially having a long distance relationship and then suggesting, well, we can still go on dates with other people where we, like where I am and then where you, and you being here. I, I mean, that's just not going to work out well. But, you know, uh, the music is also amazing. Uh, this uh, music selection. Um, George Lucas uh, often said he wrote to the, like, the music. Like, he was picking out the soundtrack and then writing scenes or whatever. Like, he wanted his favorite songs to be in this film. And just kind of wrote it, his versions of the script, to these songs, and um, songs fit really well. It's great. Uh, again, the film itself is amazing. Uh, it's fun. I'm sure you've all seen it, uh, but I just like to talk about it. And um, yeah, and another thing with Coppola and Luke is um, Francis Ford Coppola actually. Um, has said before that um, between himself, Steven Spielberg, and George Lucas, George Lucas has was the most talented out of them, out of the three. But um, for, and he's ups or not upset, disappointed with George Lucas with Star Wars because as great as Star Wars was, he focused too much on that franchise, and he never really made another film outside of Star Wars. Because uh, outside of the four Star Wars films he directed, there's this and THX 1138 uh, for feature films. And now he's going to do films, feature films that only he'll see. Only he'll see, and his friends will see, and his family will see. The public, at least as of now, will not ever get to see those films. Because, uh, and it's really a shame. He has talent. I mean, his contributions behind the scenes for various films, the other two Star Wars films, and uh, Indiana Jones, and Willow, and all these other sh uh, films, and even TV shows. He had contributions. He was a creative genius, and he still is. And, it's, and to a degree, when I thought about what Coppola said, I kind of get it, I understand. Star Wars fans who will probably watch this. Um, those who watch my channel probably enjoy me talking about Star Wars a lot with this series. But, you know, let's all be real. What uh, Coppola said, there is truth to it. Uh, you and I know George Lucas has talent. And Star Wars did take up a bulk of his career. Not the whole career, because, you know, there was moments of Indiana Jones and little things here and there. But a whole, a huge bulk of his career was uh, Star Wars. And that's probably a very, and Lucas is, I'm sure, very proud of what he created and what he did with those films and the contributions he did to those films. But I'm sure there's also a part where he wanted to do other things, but unfortunately got to a point where I, I think it seems like people didn't want another American graffiti from George Lucas. Didn't want a different film. And I'm not saying, oh, I have to make another comedy, but I'm just saying, you know, he could have made another film like this, or THX. And, you know, that would have been great. It would have been amazing to see another American graffiti type film of, in that uh, it's just in a sense it's different I know there was a sequel to this film didn't do well people don't really didn't seem to like it but um I mean I, and I'm not saying we need to have another American Graffiti film but it, it the, the movie, like another movie that Lucas makes, 
whatever he makes that isn't Star Wars related or Indiana Jones. Never really got that. I mean, there's Red Tails. And I enjoy Red Tails, I think, as a fine film. Now, would it be one of my top ten films of 2012? No, not necessarily. But it's a fine film, but I think uh, when it came out, there was all this... <sighs> People had this mindset about George Lucas, and it's like... Perhaps that also had a hand of him getting rid of his company. But, you know, I don't know. Maybe it had nothing to do with it. Like, the wheels were already in motion, but... I don't know. American Graffiti is a great film, though. Um, and I just kind of am rambling right now. and uh, About various things. Uh, I just enjoyed the stuff of George Lucas has made. I'm not going to talk about Indiana Jones uh, soon. Um, just kind of want to take a little bit of a break from the stuff of George Lucas. As great as he is, you know, you kind of want to step back a bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, haven't, I hadn't watched uh, this film in a while. I did recently, and it's still great. Uh, I enjoy it. I like to watch it every so often. If you, I'm sure you've seen American Graffiti and watch it again. It's great. If you haven't seen American Graffiti, watch it. Fan of George Lucas or not, I think you can enjoy it. It's a good film. You know, he got people together, made something really special. If you haven't seen it, just don't let the cloud of Star Wars or whatever uh, over uh, like linger there for you from stopping this, watching this film, or even THX. You know, watch the, these those two films. Watch American Graffiti. Watch THX. Great films. I'd recommend them to anyone who enjoys films. Uh, you know. Yeah. Obviously, George Lucas fans as well. You, you like Star Wars. Here's some stuff that he's made outside of Star Wars. Um, I'm sure people have seen Indiana Jones, but uh, if you've never seen American Graffiti, you should. It's, it's an excellent film. And, uh... That's really all I have to say this time. Uh, sorry I rambled a little bit, but I don't know. Some thoughts with Coppola and Lucas spurred that on. A uh, uh, little ramble. But, you know, uh, I hope if you haven't seen American Graffiti, you'll enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, I hope you'll watch it again because it's worth it. See you later.